all of you. Um, we have a um, new venue here. And then was it all okay to find it? Okay. I saw the both of cars there. <laughs> Where can I get to the concert? Do you see a place where you can park in here? Uh, it's the best place, right? Um, so uh, today's concert, or, okay, let me just introduce you the season first. Uh, so today's season is inspired by famed music critic and writer, and as well as pianist and composer Robert Schumann. Music we will play after the intermission. So the theme follows the literary storyline. So the titles are Today's In the Beginning, and then December, Heart and Soul, Regular versus Irregular, and Religious. So I would like you to create your own story while we are sharing our stories with you. Um, today, we are starting the concert with a super fantasy with wonderful Jimin here. Great person, but with such a warm and Talking hard. <laughs> you will hear him like really um, expressing his music with a lot of beauty as well as a lot of humor in there. Um, and um, yeah, so uh, Hubert, uh, before we start the music, I would like to uh, share something that Hubert said about his music. <coughs> so he said this for long years. I felt torn between the greatest grief and the greatest love. Whenever I tried, I, I attempted to sing of love, <coughs> it turned to pain. When, and again, when I tried to sing of pain, it turned <coughs> to love. This is terrible. I hope you guys all enjoy this. <coughs>
So this is my first time playing in Wellesley, I think, since I was a kid, so this is quite exciting for me. Um, just a little bit about, about this trio. I was backstage trying to find bits of information that might be interesting on Google. Uh, what I did find is that in 1797, Beethoven wrote a set of piano variations for the wife of an Austrian-Irish count, Count Brown, uh, who, and, or he dedicated that set of variations to his wife, and the count repaid him with a horse. And Beethoven, <laughs> and Beethoven uh, rode the horse a couple times, and then kind of forgot about it, neglect, neglected to feed it, and it died. <laughs> One year later, Beethoven wrote the Opus 9 string trios, uh, and gifted them to the same count, uh, and there's some serious academic research out there that is trying to figure out whether or not Beethoven wanted another horse. <laughs> Sorry. In all seriousness, no, uh, these, these works are not played as frequently as one might think upon hearing them. They are, they're complete works in the early Beethoven style. They are very dramatic, overflowing in energy, and that, yeah, there's, this is my first time playing, playing a complete work, and I'm, I haven't heard one in in full in the concert. Um, I don't know if they got overshadowed by the, the early string quartets, which were soon to come, um, but we've enjoyed putting this together, uh, these stories we're going to work with, um, and I hope you guys enjoy this. <laughs>
balance ten of ten in E flat, and proceeding with this theme in the beginning. Uh, this was this quartet in particular was the first of what would be uh, a number of romantic quintets to follow Brahms, from Dvorak, the directors after this one. This kind of paved the way for a lot of this kind of orchestration. I thought I would reference one of Schumann's most famous quotes, because I think it's actually so applicable to this work. And it goes, to send lightness into the darkness of one's heart, that is the duty of an artist. Oh. And while this quintet, you think of Schumann, you think of a tremendous amount of turmoil, conflict, and there's so much of that in this music, it's no exception. But the overriding feeling of this one is really one of joy, it's of hope. You take the first movement as an example, there's this bell-like ecstasy. And while we go through moments of, of darkness, it finishes really with triumph. And the second movement, which is the most grave, it's the gloomiest, it's a funeral march. Um, while it does have the most darkness, the end, the final note, that actually the top three voices play, gives this kind of glimmer of hope, and it proceeds right into the third and fourth movements, which are rustically joyful. And so I think it's such a fitting way to finish um, the program of the opening season and one to look forward to. So thank you all for being here and hope to see you again soon.